Well, hi everyone. Welcome into my video game playroom along with my guest for today's show. She's acupuncturist Susan Shane. I'm Andy Asher. I'm editor over at bloomerboomer.com. Now there's some great shows coming up next week. Dr. Nicole Benjamin Fink is founder of the Conservation Beyond Borders and poses the question, is, uh, is COVID-19 a direct spillover of the illegal wildlife trade? And uh, Forbes calls Nancy Schenker a bad girl because she selectively breaks rules and takes calculated risks to help companies innovate and to grow. Other great guests are coming up, so plan ahead by uh, liking us on Facebook and uh, that'll be a great way to start. So, today's show is different than anything that you have seen. Uh, it gives viewers a chance to learn something new along with a little bit of fun and suspense, all of that thrown in. And here is how this all works. Think of this as friends chatting during a round of golf on a walk or a drive in a car. You know, I'll always be joined by my wingman or wingwoman of the day who provides a fascinating topic to chat about, and as, it's as simple as that. So, uh, today's game, played by millions, is Fortnite Battle Royale. You can see that in the background there. Uh, let's get started, and everyone will understand a whole lot better as we go. And I love marmalade. All right, Susan, it's great having you here, Susan Shane. I am really excited uh, that you're here and to learn about what you do. And I want to ask the same thing that I ask on all my guests. Uh, how are you coping and, and how are you doing in the uh, circumstances that we're living today? Well, first, I just want to thank you for this incredible opportunity to spend some time together I love sharing insight and information. And just that you mentioned the pandemic, I feel great. I feel strong and uplifted. There are certain tips and techniques that I'm using on a daily basis. I feel really positive that we are going to thrive and we are going to figure out what is the best way to take care of each other right now during the pandemic and then afterward as well to keep our immunity strong. Well, I like the positive outlook and uh, I, I certainly agree with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I have been a licensed acupuncturist and a fitness and wellness coach for over 25 years. This has been a calling, a passion for me. It's as if the traditional Chinese medicine found me. I had been dancing in Japan professionally and just to keep in shape, I would go to an acupuncturist. I didn't even know what that was or how I would be cared for. And it was fabulous. Everyone in Osaka, that's where I was living, was using this as a way of healthcare. When I returned to the States, I kept using the acupuncture. After a few years, I realized, oh my goodness, I wanna learn more about this. And I went to a school a university in Santa Monica and did four to five years of training and then took medical boards to become a licensed acupuncturist. Well, now I am a novice on the uh, subject of acupuncture. So, so bear with me a little bit and, and just tell me a little bit more about it. Oh, and by the way, uh, the game has started, so we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna interject every now and then, but I wanna hear from you and People and you will understand what's going on, but I want to hear about, you know, if you can help me understand that a little bit better, that would be great. Well, acupuncture, when I say the word, a lot of people might feel funny or nervous or even cringe. And I'll make jokes that I stay in shape as an acupuncturist by playing darts on a dartboard, and it's a complete joke. The acupuncture is a technique where you use the body. There's little points on the body, acupoints, lots and lots. And when you learn how to use those acupoints with acupuncture, with acupressure, with magnets, however you wanna balance the body, then you create a homeostasis and your body has more immunity and more strength and more balance. 
Acupuncture is just a modality to help you stay healthy and it doesn't hurt. It doesn't have to hurt. Um, so I know there's something that you also specialize in and you uh, help our general well-being, both health, uh, emotionally and physically. And I, I, is it called hand angenics? Is that what this is, a, sy a system? How does all that work? Well, the system is called hand energetics. And what I love about this, when you see the acupuncturist, you get treated by the acupuncturist. When you learn about hand energetics, the acupuncturist teaches you how to use your hand to balance your body just as if you were getting an acupuncture treatment. The reason that I can say that, you know how if you have reflexology and massage on your foot or your hand for your body, it's the same idea. There's a body map of the acupuncture points on your hand. And when you learn how to use those, you can balance your own body. It's a self-care system that uses the acupuncture points remapped onto the hand. It's really, really helpful. And I've been using it daily. I teach my clients how to use it. It's kind of their homework in between times I can work with them. And their immunity is really strong and they feel happy. Well, listen, I just want to bring, bring you up to date. So in the game right now, we have landed. We have, uh, what we did was we jumped out of what's called the, uh, the battle bus. So uh, people can see that we're on the ground. Now the objective and I, here is, there's a couple of things. One, the most important one, you want to survive, okay? So we're, I'm playing with people all over the world right now. There are, uh, we started with 100. Right now there are 73 people left. And uh, the idea here is a couple of things. One is you've got to get some material to build. And so you do that by, uh, with this ax that I'm carrying around, to, to uh, break down trees. And that gives you building material that you're going to need. Uh, so that's number one. And then the other thing is you have to go in and recover loop to protect yourself. So that kind of brings you up to date. One quick other point, and the other thing we have to survive here is the weather because um, there's a big bad storm and we have to stay in the eye of the storm, otherwise the storm's gonna get us. So that's that's a little bit of, of information and uh, we'll, we're, we're surviving, that's the important thing. And uh, I just wanna know how does someone incorporate, uh, you know, uh, all the stress mitigation tools, uh, for example, into their life? Well, you have a lot of options. And I feel like if you think how to boost your immunity right now every day, and you find a few different options, then you're taking care of yourself every single day. In traditional Chinese medicine, which is what you're trained in when you become an acupuncturist, you're taught if you put a scarf around your neck that you're protecting anything from the outside coming in and entering or coming to your mouth or nose, kind of like how we're wearing masks today to help prevent the virus hmm. from entering our bodies. Oh, okay. well, yeah, traditional Chinese medicine wanted you to use a scarf and especially when you would go on an airplane, uh -huh. that became a habit. Another really easy way to help your immunity is to have vegetable soup on a regular basis. And you can add in garlic, your favorite spices, something that will keep you warm and help with the bacteria and viruses that are out there. I recently went hiking in Bhutan and every day at lunch, we were having a soup that was just a given. And a few years ago, I also went hiking in South America. And at lunchtime, we all had vegetable soup. I really think it's customary in a lot of other countries, and it's a really easy additive. You know, you can add that into your daily diet. Uh -huh. So by getting the vegetable soup with the spices, then you're helping your body stay warm and healthy. Yeah. You need to stay hydrated. You hear a lot with the COVID-19, you don't wanna to get too dry and thirsty, so staying hydrated. There are three simple tips if you learn some of the immunity points on your hand for the hand energetics, you could do acupressure every day on those points. Uh -huh. 
this is why I really am excited about sharing how this medicine can help boost your immunity in simple ways. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I love soup. I really do. And uh, I, in a way, I was sorry to see winter go because uh, I just love, you know, hot soup on a cold winter day. But, you know, year round, right? Year round. You can have it year round. You can drink warm tea. There's some really nice herbal teas that help with your immunity that you could just have a cup instead of just water. Uh -huh. That way you can mix up your choices. But definitely you can have soup even when the days get hotter. It's okay. Huh. Well, just to bring you up to date here. So let's see, we started off with 50 other players and uh, there's 50, uh, no, there's 37 remaining. Uh, what else? Um, so far so good, uh, we're still around and uh, We'll, oh, hey, I think I'm going to hide out. They have a little uh, place I can hide for a minute. Uh, actually, you know, it's, it's, that's what I love about the game. It's so comedic, you know. Uh, where I just hid there for a minute was a one of those uh, outhouses, okay? So they mm -hmm. have, yeah, it's just, it's just a, it's a fun thing to do. Um, you know, so, and then you can apply all this to kids, too, I imagine. Oh, definitely. The kids really love to do the acupressure or the magnets on their hand. And once they wear it, it's like 10 minutes. They don't need as much to shift their energy and to balance their body and boost their immunity. They do it for a shorter time than the older population. We need a little bit of extra boost to help our immunity. So we might use the magnet or the acupressure a little bit longer, but kids respond very quickly. And kids love to help cook with you. So if you are making really healthy food and trying to avoid some of the processed sugary foods that can create a mucus or a phlegm uh -huh. and then it weakens your immune system, the kids love to cook with you. It's really easy to help them stay healthy and feel like they're participating in their own self-care. Yeah. Now, are, are kids any different uh, than adults in terms of how they react and things like that? In how they react, just the timing you oh, really? don't uh -huh. yeah they'll they'll respond and feel really good they'll feel really healthy they'll let you know like mommy i'm done i don't uh -huh. need to do this anymore they're very tuned in uh -huh. so the kids are great and that's the only difference is that it will be a little quicker and more rapid when the children are giving the self-care but the you know the grown-ups they just need a little extra and if they use the other kids, they love to play with scarves. They love to eat well. They'll, they get thirsty. And if you give them something to drink, they'll definitely comply. So any of this information is for all ages. Yeah. Hey, do you, uh, do you, do you have kids that play video games at all or anything? I have two children in university. Oh, do you? But, well, they might, yeah. you know, they might too. That, it, it, yeah. it, uh huh. Yeah, it was really popular when the middle school and high school time happened. Yeah. It was really popular. Yeah, that, uh, I, I got hooked on, on video games when I was uh, on a stationary exercise bike. And, uh, you know, you'd put that screen up there and they had a game option. And then I thought, oh, this is really fun. You know, I, I pedal for, uh, on the stationary bike for uh, 30 minutes and it goes by just like that. And I just thought, this is great. Absolutely. The games help. Music helps. That's a really nice way to segue into exercising, too. Uh -huh. Another idea is to keep your circulation. And in traditional Chinese medicine, walking is the best exercise. Uh -huh. If you have a chance, you walk indoors if you're still shelter in place and can't get outside. Uh -huh. But if you get outside, go for a walk somewhere. That is so good for your overall health and your immunity and you have your own favorite exercise if you're doing the stationary bike or something else like you said golfing that's great. you just want to keep moving too the exercise is so important these days yeah it certainly is now you also uh utilize the magnets and all that uh that is really uh interesting i i'd like to know about that well, the magnets are just a tool instead of the acupuncture needle or your own hand applying acupressure. And the magnets are biomarked, so they have a polarity north or south. You figure out which way to 
place it on your skin, just on your hand. Uh -huh. And then these magnets are for only the human body. That's what's really wonderful. And once you wear them, you don't have to do anything. You just wear them for about 30 minutes. You're going to feel better. You're going to feel the shifts happening. You actually experience it. Just like if you were getting an acupuncture treatment, you feel better after the session. It's the same way with the magnets. They're really easy to figure out how to put on your skin. And then you pick your own adhesive tape. I have people using painter's tape or nurse's tape. It doesn't matter, but you need a little adhesive to hold it. And every day, if you're doing this magnet care, you are increasing your vitality. And um, that's, is that a, an acupuncture type a uh, tool or because uh, uh, you know yeah. that, that is all right all right hey let me just briefly update you on the game uh, there's also this thing where I have to be in the eye of the storm right now and so I have gotten uh, I am not there and I have a little ways to go before I'm going to do it so that's real dangerous I may not I may not make it but wish me luck and we'll hang in there so um, what do you do on a daily basis? On a daily basis, I, I know that's a pretty general question, but give us a sense of that. I have magnet protocols, so I'll mix and match. I'll do something with the magnets. I find it really easy. And then I'll read a book, I'll do something else relaxing because there's time and space for that. I'll also do the Tai Chi or Qigong. That's the traditional Chinese medicine exercise. There's so many options that way, and it's really fun to mix that up. I like to have different exercise or different self-care options. I'll also try to make sure I'm getting enough vegetables and soup inside my body. I'm really aware of that. And it's fun because with the summer, you have so many different vegetables for options. So I'm really aware of that and spa baths i'll put epsom salt there's time now and i'll make sure that i once a week i will have a spa bath just for my own pampering it's really fun i enjoy that time and music music's really important every day i'll make sure i play music that's inspiring i want to stay elevated as we work through the pandemic as we learn how to manage covid 19 and I also, every single day, I'm saying prayers for the planet and for a healthy outcome. I find that it's a contribution that I'm really happy once I've spent that time praying and helping out others in my thoughts that way. Well, that's beautiful. Um, this, is, this has been fascinating. Um, and Susan, I didn't do too well. They, they, the storm got me, so uh, better luck Sorry. for me next time, right? Yes, better luck next time. Well, what uh, as we wind down, what might be the message uh, that people can walk away with today? I'm really hoping that if you haven't ever tried traditional Chinese medicine for care, that you might explore the herbal medicine, the acupuncture. If you have tried the traditional Chinese medicine and you feel like, oh my goodness, I really enjoy this and it does help my body, that you might think about using the magnet care, the hand energetics for yourself every day to boost your immunity. Those two, I think those two are important for anybody just being introduced to this idea to open up. And anybody who does use traditional Chinese medicine, think about the magnet self-care on a daily basis. So how can people get in touch with you or learn more uh, about what you're doing? The magnet care is on handenergetics.com. There's a website. And then to find out more about traditional Chinese medicine and overall ways to take care of your health, I have a book. It's titled Vitality Fusion. And the website is vitalityfusion.com. Well, very nice. It's been wonderful talking to you. And by the way, uh, have you done an interview with all this going on? And how has it been for you? Have, have you gotten your all the things across that you wanted to talk about? I feel like this interview was a lot of fun. And it is different because I have not had a game ongoing during the interview. 
Yeah. Oh, good. I, I enjoyed it, and it's. I, I think uh, we covered some good areas, and certainly I learned a thing or two. So, um, Susan Shane, thanks so much for uh, joining us today. Thank you so much. All right. And I uh, want to thank you for joining us, and uh, I love marmalade.